And well, you're looking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And do you think that's because you found love? Well, you know, <laughs> it helps. I, said, yeah. <laughs> I have lost weight. I have lost weight. I think it's um, basically it's early days, and he's much younger than I am, but um, he's very mature. And, and also, I think everybody deserves to be happy. Mm. And you know, what you've makes been on you such happy? a journey, haven't you? Yes, yes. Um, but what makes you what makes you stronger? Adversity makes you stronger. Uh, you have to put it to bed and live for the future. Not live for the future. Live for the moment. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. so It, it certainly hasn't been easy and when you you know you'd live this sort of bizarre lie really within yourself until you you felt the courage to go through the whole gender reassignment surgery and and you wanted to be Lauren um, but you thought that would fix everything and actually it, it didn't at that point in fact off the back of the surgery you you really did have a, a period of, of feeling quite low there was loneliness there was depression there it wasn't exactly this this dream scenario you thought it might have been no well sometimes it, you expect to feel uh, amazing straight away and your imagination makes you think that but it was, and then I saw my body then afterwards, and I realized that I had more work to do and, and I wasn't satisfied. And I should have just been, you know what, you've been through so much, you've done so much, you should be just thankful for where you are now. But I believe that anyone going through my position and going through the journey still, they need support, especially now that the legal system, the legal, the laws have changed. It's not so long now to wait. It's two years instead of six years. You know, it's, it's much, much better, but there's obviously still an awful lot of transphobia around. Well, that's what I was going to say. Part of the problem isn't what's happening to you. Part of it's, what, it's how other people react to you. I mean, you must have had some very strange reactions from all sorts of different parts of the community. Yes, yes, yes. And basically, I'm very lucky that I have such a very supportive family. Mm. And uh, without them, you know, well, I would be here, but I wouldn't be as strong as I am now. But you must have thought when you were looking for relationships, because I suppose that's yes. what most people want. Most, yeah. most people. I mean, d d were some people wary of you or maybe thought you were a bit of a novelty, so they were going for you for the wrong reasons or things like that? You're always put in a, a vulnerable position when you're a vulnerable person and if you're in a vulnerable state. And, and yeah, and that can easily, you can easily put yourself down in the wrong area because you're vulnerable and you're lonely. And, 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 you know, I was reading that, you know, in this, in a, such a vulnerable state that someone took advantage of you, of, of you in a very they dramatic did. way. They did. It was many years ago now. Uh, but um, you still get flashbacks sometimes and uh, you get smells that you remember. But my mistake was that I didn't go forward. I didn't go to the police. What, I didn't. What happened? Can we ask? Well, um, that gone into too much detail because it's school holidays. No, no. <laughs> I just um, met somebody, he said he'd take me home, seemed to be so perfectly fine, but I was very vulnerable, didn't, it was very soon after the operation, too soon, and then I don't know what happened, and before I knew it, I was watching myself being, you know, and it, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't a very nice experience. It was experience. an attack. Yeah. It was an attack, and I should have done something then and there. You didn't feel strong enough to go to the police? No, I felt dirty, and I had a bar straight away, and the evidence had gone, and then I had to have more procedure then, two years later, so. But, you know, the basic thing is that I always, with all, everything in my whole life, I based a lot of our pain with humour, mm. and, uh, um, it, it, this isn't very funny, but my parents are having trouble keeping the house. They're, 20, they're 72 and 73. And my mother said to me, what can I do, straight naked across New Road to keep my house? So I said, no, we'll go live stream. We'll show people <laughs> what we're like. We'll show people who we really are. Um, and so people who ever have their misgivings about us can see us for who we are and it actually starts on Sunday and I want everyone to watch it and to support them because I want to keep our house and I don't believe anybody has the right to take someone's house off them no. and it's going to be fun, Osborne's, Cardassians, we're back. <laughs>